morning so i just want to talk to you all real quick before i get out of bed so i just got off the phone with a friend of mine and she revealed to me something that really shocked me for a bit i mean i'm not shocked but shocked you know you know when you're like okay you were not looking yeah that's me right now so i just have to come on and real tell you all stop giving people king treatment or a queen treatment when they don't do anything to deserve it so this girl was over there getting her ass beat bust up and then she was talking about the king like she took this man to a spa to get his crusty ass nails done like two days ago for his birthday and on the same day he whooped her ass like are you serious girl if you're watching this hey it's all love i got you but y'all mama used to say it's not everything that glitter is gold and i can see what she really meant because if that was me i would be calling you from a jail cell oh cramps I don't know what y'all ladies been doing for that crazy red lady when she shows up every month but when i get those cramps and i just can't stand them because me and them don't get along i have a little concoction not a concussion concoction for it and my ancestors said i should share with y'all ladies so let's go make it let me get dressed ginger scraped it and crushed my garlic and now I'm just gonna put about two cups of water in the pot okay and time for the dry air blow Not bad, I promise you. <laughs> it's yummy. So for those of you that don't like herbs, it is really yummy. And it's better than Advil and Tylenol because this is better for your liver. Yeah. It detoxes the liver while getting rid of the cramps. And also if you have heavy bleeding, it helps to reduce all of that and balance back your hormone. But the purpose of drinking this is not only to get rid of pain, it also have a lot of vitamins and minerals that helps to cleanse, tone, nourish, and strengthen the uterus during that time of the month. And did I mention that, yeah, antioxidants, yeah, and anti-inflammatory properties. I'm feeling for some um, pancakes, so I'm gonna make some pancakes and then I am going to uh, run on the street to get some flowers and pick up some fruits because I am how to fall that. And I do not like my vase slash table being empty, so I'm just gonna grab some of my favorite florists, Daisy. I've been checking the store um, for the past three, four days and I know th I noticed they didn't have any, so I don't know if they have any, but if they don't, I'm just gonna grab some sunflowers, which I don't like, but if that's the only thing they have, I'm gonna grab those. But anyway, today I'm gonna be cooking lamb shank as well for the second time, and I am gonna see how that turns out. I also got a new plant and some new um, pillows for my bedroom so i'm going to show you that in a minute and my new addition because you know this plant mom she i don't think she knows when to quit because she's going to turn this whole place into a forest but anyway oh crap i forgot to hit the recording button <laughs> so i started recording but all i'm using is just this um pancake mix um from president um choice or presidential choice whatever but i like to keep it simple and all that's in it is just flour baking powder and soda and sugar and yeah so that's it and then i'm just gonna add some um, almond milk and that's it whisk it up and then i'm gonna make me some simple pancakes i've been doing this for quite a while and it turns out amazing all the time so y'all don't come for me and tell me how to make my pancakes but if i can do it no i don't want to Put 
seems like it's way too much butter. It's gonna be good still. And I love to use a measuring cup because it helps with the pouring, so yeah. When it's like this, you know it's time to flip it and voila, look how pretty that is, okay? This is how my pancakes turns out and I made a little bit of scramble eggs to go with it. I was gonna make a sunny side up um, egg, but last minute changes in the pot, so I just need um, some scramble eggs. But anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this and I'm gonna run out on the street and I'll in the comments down below what do you all think So I just picked up some sunflowers and um, I also got some exotic fruits that I'm uh, excited for. So I'm just going to show you the fruits and then I'm going to put the flowers in some water. So. sunflowers I mean I love the big beautiful um, flowers itself but I just don't like the shape of them when you're in the vase you know what I mean it's just it looks weird the florist daisy at least when I um when I cut them and put in the vase they have a beautiful beautiful shape to them but these ones some of them are straight some of them are slanted it's just weird but anyway I have some fresh flowers and I am excited about them um, another thing too about sunflowers, they don't last long. So that's another thing why I don't like buying them. So the pot I'm using today is my beautiful square cast iron pot. I love it so much. And I'm going to add some olive oil to it right now. Just like that. Just enough to brown the lime shank. Okay, ladies and gents <laughs> so this is how my lamb shank turns out I am loving it so the sweet potato mash and the asparagus and uh, the carrots and the mushrooms I am loving the whole presentation so I am just gonna wind down and watch meet the Mitchells 